I recently picked up a new Samsung Google Chromebook. Um, the, P the reason for this, I guess, netbook type of device is for traveling. I wanted something light, um, but a little more robust than a tablet. A tablet, when you're surfing the internet, is okay, but it really nothing really beats a keyboard and a mouse for doing um, for doing actual research when you're looking for hotel rooms or places that you're visiting. Tablets are okay, but they're not really the best in my opinion. So this device is small, light, and hopefully it'll meet my needs. So I'm just going to do a really quick uh, review about it. So I've already unboxed it, but it just comes in a really plain Jane box. Um, all that was in it was a manual, the Chromebook, and a battery, uh, not battery, sorry, um, the power adapter. The specs on it, the specs are, it runs the Google Chrome OS, it has a Exynos 5250 CPU, a 11.6 inch LC LED, it's in HD, it has a video RAM but it's shared, the memory is 2 gigabytes, DDR3, 800 megahertz. Um, the hard drive is a 16 gigabyte solid state, um, well I wouldn't call it a hard drive, I guess it would be memory, and there's no wired network connection. It does have uh, 802.11 A B, G, and N for networking, and it's in the color of silver. I'm going to go over real quick the ports on this uh, Chromebook. There's USB 3, USB 2, and HDMI, so you can plug it into your TV. Uh, this is the port for the power adapter. Um, it's 12 volts, is what it uh, what it takes DC. This here, I believe, is for cellular or data connection. There are no ports on the front. On the side, there's a port for your headphone. And then here, there's a port for an SD card, which is kind of nice. And I've actually plugged in uh, a 32 gig card and it recognizes it uh, without a problem. So I've plugged in the Chromebook, I've plugged in an external mouse as well. I've already booted it up. You do need a Google logon. You do need a Google account in order to log into this machine to start using it. So it is very much web-based. This is completely a web-based uh, OS. There are you can do some things offline, but it really is meant for just surfing the internet, checking your email. Uh, that's the beauty of this machine, and that's why the price reflects it because um, it's around 250, I believe to purchase this, so it's uh, quite reasonable. Um, the screen resolution is very nice. Uh, I believe the screen resolution is... And you manage everything through Google Chrome, the actual web browser. But the resolution... So the resolution is 1366 by 768. I just want to take a moment and zoom in on the screen so you guys can see how nice and crisp and clear the resolution is. I'm really impressed with the screen resolution. Um, these are your run-of-the-mill Google apps that you would find online if you were in a web browser. Um, like there's the Google Drive, Google Docs, the Spreadsheet app, um, Photos, Google Plus. There's the Google Chrome Store. This is where you're going to be able to download games and more apps for it. So think of it like the Google Play Store if you have an Android device. Um, works kind of the same way except for your all your apps are going to run in the Google Chrome 
web browser. This really is, this machine really is uh, a web browser. It's really meant for online use, um, surfing the web, checking your email, you know, that's what this device is, is meant for. So if you go in with those expectations, um, you won't be disappointed. If you go in thinking that it's a cheap, you know, really relatively inexpensive laptop, this is not a laptop. This is really a very web specific device. Um, but there is a way to install Linux on one of these devices and I might do a second video where I attempt to do that and uh, and we'll see how I make out. So I'll probably do that. That'll be a second video so watch out for that. Um, I just wanted to mention a few other things about it. The keyboard. The keyboard is very nice. I really like the keyboard. Um, the keys are they got a nice soft feel to them. I can touch type with it and they're nicely widely spaced. Um, the trackpad is nice, it's responsive, it's accurate. Um, it's only one button though, so that's kind of kind of odd, but um, but probably not for your general web surfing. With the mouse you can right click, so I have my, my mouse in, installed like I said earlier, but I can right click and it actually gives me a right click menu. Um, but when using the trackpad, all it gives me is one one button. That's it. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Not a big deal. Um, so overall, I'm very happy with this uh, with this Chromebook. I think it'll be really good for traveling. It's light. Like I mentioned before, I think it's uh, 1120 grams when I weighed it. It also has a webcam, so you can do um, web chatting, probably skyping. Um, Overall, a really nice device. Really, I think it's well made, um, and hopefully this review helps out anyone uh, anyone else out there who is thinking about purchasing one. And before they purchase one, they they know what to expect, what they're going to get, so they're not um, disappointed. Uh, so hopefully this helps you. And uh, thanks for watching.